everybody, welcome back to 827 Productions. And today we have another Pokemon TCG video. So today we're going to be doing how to make a good Pokemon deck. So, I guess because besides collecting cards, which you know some people do try to collect cards, try to get all the rares cards like EXs, Ultra Rares, Secret Rares, all that good stuff, you can also make decks out of them and battle them with your friends. So that's also really fun too. So, each Pokemon deck has 60 cards in it. Well, pretty much the, you have to have 60 cards. I mean, if you're, like, playing with your friends, you can make, like, however many cards you want in your deck. But I guess if you go to, like, a Pokemon League or, like, a Play Pokemon, you need to have 60 cards. And there's four types of decks. There's theme decks, which are, of course, the ones you buy from the store, which come with, like, a deck and stuff. And those are really good if you want to start playing. Then they have Standard, which are from the newest... Like, the newest, I guess, um, set, well, not really the newest set, but, like, the newest expansion. So, if you had made a standard deck right now, it would be X and Y onward. Then there's my personal favorite, which are expanded. Expanded decks usually go back around two sets, or that was some type of limit. Like, right now, black and white on onward is an expanded deck. And then finally is an unlimited deck. And you're going to have whatever cards you want here. You're going to have cards from Fossil, Stormfront, and even Breakpoint, you know. And then that would be a, um, a unlimited deck. So usually, I guess if you want to, this is probably the most least important, but if you want to, you know, walk in when you're battling someone and look pretty cool, you usually want to have some type of, you usually want to make your deck look cool. You can have a deck box and... You can buy deck boxes, I know, off of Amazon, and then they have them at some comic book stores, and I saw a few the last time I went to GameStop. But I like to use the Lee Trainer Deck Shield because they're nice and sturdy, and then they come with damage counter holders. And usually, now, I like to use Dice more as damage counters because they're less messy and easier to pick up with. And then you always want to have a few coins. Like I have a selection. I have Finnegan, Cheskin. I know I have, like... Rayquaza somewhere in here, so, and then you want to put them in sleeves, and you can buy sleeves, um, these are the Mega Mewtwo Y ones from my Elite Trainer Box, so that's pretty cool, also, I know you can buy some, for their, um, I know you can, um, sleeves are usually at comic book shops too, and typically, sometimes they can be at, like, regular retailers, like Ta Target or Walmart, so that's one of the places sleeves can also be. And then usually you only want to limit decks to usually around one or two types. And you might be like, but Drew, if I use a bunch of types, I can use all my good cards. Well, I actually have a kind of a story here. My first deck I ever made had like four or five different types of Pokemon in there. So I only had like five of each type. And I barely won with that deck. And I'm like, why am I not winning? I have... Almost all my Ultra Rares and EX is in here, but I can't win. It's because since you have so much Pokemon, it's hard to attach the right amount of energies unless you have, like, a ton of energy searches. So, I guess the deck I'm sort of showcasing today is a Psychic and a Water deck. And then it's always a good idea to throw in one or two Special Energies. And then Special Energies, you can only attach them to certain types of Pokemon. Is like, well, some of them, because this Double Dragon Energy provides... Any energy you want for um, a dragon Pokemon, but if you put this on like a colorless Pokemon or like a fire or water or whatever type Pokemon that's not dragon, then you just go ahead and discard it. So, which is that? And then you usually want to have one or two, evol a few evolution lines. I got the Piplup line in here. This, these usually work very well, and you want to use cards like some. It's a good idea also to use cards like Wally or like. Cards that allow you to evolve your Pokemon quick so you know you can get to the final stage. And then, I guess, you know, and then in decks, there's different like, formats people want to do. Some people do like 20 Pokemon, 20 um, trainers, and 20 energy. Usually, what I like to do is I like to have around, as I like to have 20 Pokemon, I like to usually have around 15 ish trainers and then put in a decent bit of energy. So, you usually want to kind of a bit of variety, kind of like what I have here, so usually you know you want to have a bit of variety and you can put on Pokemon from theme decks in as long as they're within the time so these, this is the Foil, Latios, and Latias from the um, Latios and Latias trainer kit 
Um, so I could put those in because you know they're within the um yes the um yes thing for expanded decks and I guess at this time also for um standard. But then like um this Empoleon here is from um legendary treasure, so that would I could put that in an expanded deck, but not a standard deck really. And then it's always a good idea to put in a few colorless Pokemon. Some people I know don't like to put them in too much, but I usually like to put in only usually one or two. Because colorless Pokemon can take any type of energy you want. So it could take water energies, psychic energies, whatever type of energies I desire and attach it to the Snorlax. The Snorlax. Except for special energies that aren't colorless. But you can also get double colorless energies, which you could use to power up Snorlax really easily. And then you also usually want to have an ultra rare or two, or at least some type of cards you want to base it off. I know um, one of the popular, more popular decks back in black and white was Night March because, well, no, yeah, no, that was a Phantom Forces. So sorry, I got to mix up. Is Night March because you can do Night March. You can mix up like this deck I based around my Gyarados EX Secret Rare and then Mewtwo EX. And then also it's a good idea sometimes to put in EXs of of um. Combined types like this Laudia, Laudios EX is a water and psychic type, so I'm able to use him pretty much. And then you always want to balance out tr your trainer cards. You don't, oh, well, I mean, it def depends on personal preference. Like, I always like to have my decks mixed up, but you can just put in like all potions, you know, all, um, like all wall user, like stuff like that. So. Is you usually want a, a stadium card that works decently well with your type, um, and then you want to have, I guess, a variety of of cards. Well, I guess I like to have a variety of cards. Like I want to have like cards that heal, like float so much, can help my card Pokemon or treat at no cost, and then one note, and then I'm um, not one note. I don't know what's with me today, but Bridget because that can help me search for whatever Pokemon I want. So. I'm pretty darn sure that's it, and you guys probably just noticed that I have a new setup back there. I'll be using that for every one of my videos, unless if you guys don't like it, then leave it in the comment section down below. I'll probably be swapping it up, believe me, if I get some new Elite Trainer boxes or even a booster box, I can put that back there. Maybe if I get new tins or a figure I like or anything, then I can do that. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you all later. Goodbye!